Thank you. Yeah, and uh, maybe Stuart, the small the small particles of uh, the soil or the roots that, that has been uprooted as a result of the tiny holes here. Um, any recycle kind of a thing that goes on, or where do you take the small parts? This uh, sand. No, the the small particles oh, that so has been. Gone. Yeah. So, yeah. so the, the soil that we're removing, yeah, right, there is some green foliage on there. Yeah. Um, what we tend to do is we tend to drag mat. So when we pull the core out, the yeah. core tends to be quite, you know, two and a half inches long. Yeah. And you know, the diameter is, is a good diameter. So there is thatch in there. There is some healthy turf on the top. Yeah. And then below that is some good sand as well. So what the guys do once it's been removed, yeah. we then drag mat um, the cores. Yeah. So it knocks off any sand that we want to keep on the green. Okay. It just leaves all the dry thatch on the top. Yeah. And that's what we start Ah, oh, okay. So, all right. And um, so the drills or the, the tiny holes I can see here, about uh, 0 0.5 diameter, and I've, as you have said, several inches down, um, is it for, you know, is it, is, does it help uh, water to get into and gas to come out and in? Exactly right. So removing fat yeah. increases percolation rates, which yeah. means the, the rate at which the water travels through the profile. Yeah. The water quality in the is, is okay, but generally for the region it's, it's uh, sewage water. Okay. Which sometimes comes with high salinity. Yeah. We want to, we're allowing by increasing the percolation rates, yep. we're improving how we can remove that salt through the profile. And uh, maybe you can give us an estimate of um, how long does it take for this green to get back to normal? You're going to hold me to it, John. Yep. So, within seven days it will look, it will look green. But um, okay. until they're back, it's true again, it will be about 21 days from Monday. Ah, okay. So,
Wow, right. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thanks.